Hi, I'm Linnea Dupree, owner of The Wedding Talk, but you don't care about that. You are here for the wedding planning boot camp. Woo! Today, we're talking about bridal party. What is a bridal party? A wedding party is everybody that's invited to the wedding. A bridal party are the people that are going to help you get through the planning process. Like a maid or matron of honor, a best man, a bridesmaid, a groomsman. How do you pick a bridal party? Well, first you gotta decide if you actually want one. These days, it's not uncommon to not do one. But if you do, start with the people that are closest to you. This might be best friends, family, close cousins. Any of those people that support you during your regular life are usually the people that will be in your bridal party. Now, times have changed. You do not have to have an equal amount of bridesmaids as your groomsmen. Also, scratch the gender norms. You can have a groomswoman or a man of honor. It's completely up to you who you want standing next to you. Just make sure you think carefully about that choice. This can sometimes be a breeding ground for drama. Weddings will bring both the best and the worst out of people. So just be thoughtful in who you choose. The first step after picking these people is to ask them. Take them out to brunch, give them a little proposal gift. Have fun asking them, but also be honest that this is a responsibility both financially and time commitment wise. So make sure that they're all in. Let's talk about what responsibilities they have. They are usually responsible for hosting events like bridal showers or bachelor parties, getting their outfits and accessories on time, attending rehearsal dinners and being at the wedding from start to finish. And during the wedding, they're gonna walk down the aisle with you. They're gonna make entrances into the reception and they might even say toast. Now, what are your responsibilities? Most importantly, you're supposed to give them clear communication. Express your needs and concerns and expectations clearly, and also send things to them in a timely fashion. You're also gonna pick out their outfits and pick responsibilities for them, like who's saying the toasts, and generally just making sure they have all the information that they need to help you in your wedding. They are helping you in a very important time of your life. So it's important that you show your gratitude, but also you're the leader. Guide them firmly and don't be afraid. It is your own wedding but also be considerate of their feelings. Yeah, let's talk about who pays for what. When they accept their role, they are accepting the responsibilities that come with this position. Most of the time they anticipate to pay for their activities, clothing, hair, transportation, that kind of stuff. As I said before, it's best to be upfront about what you're going to be asking of them. If you plan on going to a lavish bachelor party that's across the world, it's a good idea to let them know in a very timely manner. Also be understanding if they can't do that. There's a lot of unspoken rules about bridal party. Things you can ask, things you can't ask. <laughs> Ultimately, these are your people. Treat them well, and hopefully they'll treat you well too. Now I gotta talk about it. What if you need to fire someone from your bridal party? Unfortunately, this is not uncommon. If you've clearly laid out all the expectations and they're not doing any of it, or they're being really toxic, gotta go. This is your big day and you have to be protective of it. That's why it's so important that you do a lot of thinking before you ask people into your bridal party. Now, if you're a part of the bridal party, here are some tips to help you be the best bridal party ever. When you're throwing a batch party, please think about who you're throwing the batch party for. If that bride is not a normal party club going person, maybe you don't want to go that route for the batch party. <laughs> ask the couple what they're looking for out of these events and then handle as much as you can on your own. They've got a lot on their plate. Take that on for them and they will thank you for forever. <laughs> Order your clothes on time and do the things they're supposed to do on time. <laughs> when it comes down to it, make sure you know everything there is to know about the timeline. You are the buffer between the couple problems and then like you're right there. You're going to be taking on the stress of the day so that way they don't have to. It's a good idea to prepare yourself for this mentally. Make sure you're good. Also physically, make sure you're drinking water throughout the day. All in all, it's supposed to be fun. So keep it lighthearted and have good energy. And if your brides and grooms are putting too much stress on you, it is okay to confront them. Last logistical things, everybody should have their dresses and their suits around three months in advance. That way, if any tailoring or alterations needs to be made, there's time. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. And if you need to find more tips, inspiration, whatever, here are some of my socials. See you next Wednesday. Woo!